Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, in a very unsuspecting move, they released brand new mana spirals on a random Saturday. Well, they announced that they're going to be adding ones, and they're for units that should have been added for <laughs> around Valentine's Day. <laughs> so it really feels like these have been coming for a while. Uh, so we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day Hildegard and Valentine's Day Orion. Going over their info, kind of talking about them, seeing how I feel about them. Um, and that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like. Uh, comment, tell me about how you feel in about these units. Um, it is really weird for them to add them when we're about to get New Year's units, but it seems like they're going to be waiting to um, mana spiral New Year's units until it's around New Year's time, so sure. Um, and you can subscribe to me if you want some more uh, content in general. I do Dragalia and a bunch of other things. All right, so... The elephant in the room, they forgot um, Halloween Ezalith. Halloween Ezalith. Valentine's Day Ezalith. I'm sorry, it is almost 4 a.m., so I'm very tired. Um, Ezalith is the other Valentine's unit. She's a four star. They did not include her on here. They just straight up didn't include her on. I'm trying to think of like why they wouldn't. They just didn't feel like it. It's super weird. Super weird. So let's go over them. Um, first, we'll start with Valentine's Day Hildegard. She has Blooming Love, restores HP to all allies, and increases the entire team's strength by 8% for 60 seconds. This strength, this strength increase will not stack. This skill also increases the entire team's energy level by two stages and continues healing for the next 15 seconds. That's Blooming Love. Holy Protection grants all teammates a 1U shield that nullifies damage less than 40% of the user's maximum HP and increases their energy level by 3 stages. This does not stack with any other shield of the same type. Uh, co-op ability, recover potency 20%. Chain co-op ability, flame HP below at 40% equals strength 15%. Abilities, Rosy Saint grants the user's 4 strike the ability to dispel one enemy buff and grants the user's next four strike 100%. Grants the user's four strikes a 100% chance to reduce enemy strength by 5% for 10 seconds. This strength reduction effect will not stack. Okay? Potent stun resistance 100% and skill prep 100% and skill charge. Okay. So, some good stuff. I really like the ability of Rosy Saint and the skill prep. Skill prep and skill charge 100% is just good. And having 5% skill uh, skill gauge fill rate is pretty nice. It seems like that seems to be the kind of basic for a lot of units like this. <clears throat> but either way, it's still nice to have. Uh, Rosie Saint makes it seem like she would kind of fulfill the same role that um, Grace would. But for fire. So Grace has the same ability where when she four strikes, she dispels one enemy buff. Uh, the difference is, is that Grace is... Four strike is super slow. It is crazy how slow that thing is. Um, it's fine because it doesn't end up being her her end all be all, but it is, like I said, very slow. Uh, it also doesn't reduce enemy strength by five percent, um, which is a nice added bonus. So that's very nice that she got that. Um, the one thing that's kind of a negative, and this is a negative that reply that kind of applies to all healing units of fire, is that Halloween Lowen exists. And it's kind of hard to compete with Halloween Lowen when even when not mana spiraled, he's the best healer in the entire game for fire, I guess, specifically. Um, so it ends up getting a little bit screwy when you have healing units. The one thing that Valentine's Day Hildegard has is that she does focus more on um, the, like the, the energy increase and stuff like that. Um, and a little bit of strength increase. I don't think Lowen has that because he was created before... Actually, I don't know post-buff. I don't know if they buffed Halloween Lowen to give him that ability to. Because I remember, if I remember right, I think every healer ended up having that change done to them, I think. Um, the energy, the being energy focused is a nice, at least, differentiator if you ever want to be in a situation where you need energy levels instead of defense. Uh, similar to how Cassandra, the Yukata Cassandra, is more focused on attacking than she is on um, defending, like Loen is. Like, the ultimate defender will always be Loen, and he will continue being the ultimate defender because the Holy Protection is just not, not good enough 
to compete on low end in the same way. Not when this is a very specific shield that only works once. It doesn't compare to the insane defense that you get from low end. So that's always going to be an issue. But I don't know. I think she seems okay. Like nothing about her seems like it's the most amazing thing. I think it'd be a different story if um, someone like... Uh, yeah, if there was a specifically a fight that required fire to have dispelling, but there really isn't. <laughs> fire isn't really known for its dispelling, it's known for its insane killing. So I don't know, maybe she, they're... I, yeah, it's a weird one. I think she'll be perfectly fine if you just want a healer on your team, but maybe for some harder quest you might replace her with someone else. Um... And maybe later on when they start building new events, there'll be a way, there'll be a reason to use her. But until that day happens, she just seems okay. At least that's what I think right now. That's how I'm feeling for her, so. It's Valentine's Day, Hildegard. Again, it's very unfortunate. They really painted themselves into a corner having Halloween low and be as good as he is. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Valentine's Day, Orion. Spinning Brulee. Deals flame damage to the surrounding enemies and inflicts burn. Okay, that's it. Sweet protection. Increases the entire team's defense by 20% and strength by 15% for 15 seconds. That's shareable three. Wow. Huh. Huh. All right. Dragon haste, 15%. Flame burn equals user's strength, 8%. Strength double buff abilities. Strength double buff, 15%. Um, increases strength by 50% for 15 seconds each time a defense up buff is received. Vote and sleep resistance 50% and sleep res- Ugh, he's one of these cyber units. That sucks. He didn't get the full 100%. I mean, he didn't get two, um, abilities that were 100%. He got 100% sleep resistance, so he can only really be used with, um, events that are sleep-focused. Anyway, speaking of sleep, I'm sleepy. Um... Valentine's Day Orion seems... I really like Sweet Protection, and it might just be because I like using the defense up skills. Um, so the share, the reason I like using him is because of the Grace Strat, which is the reason why I like using Batia so much in her specific um, 3 defense skill. Is that it's just nice to have defense skills and be able to um, heal that way. So having another one and it being so low cost is actually kind of nice. I think Batia's cost four? Might be five. I'm not 100% sure on that one. It it costs a decent enough where it's kind of a pain to run two of them, I think. I can't tell if it's also three. Um, but I digress. He's nothing really... Um, He's one of those three units where it's like, there's nothing really special. They just kind of say like, oh, he does this. It's one of those units where it's like, I'm going to have to wait for the mods. Because this the mods could accidentally make him into this crazy fire beast where he just deals insane damage. Similar to like Vice or Karina, where we didn't really understand how good their spirals were until we saw the crazy amount of damage they could output. And I feel like he's going to be in a very similar situation. So we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But just looking at him, I kind of like his um, chain co-op ability. I like his ability. It's nice having strength double buff just built into you. Um, the only thing that's a bummer is, again, not having two resistances. He only has it to sleep. Um... The reason I would like something like two is I guess it just makes Volk much easier because <laughs> Volk inflicts two different afflictions. So no matter what, you gotta get screwed over. But now that he only has, um, now he can only really resist the sleeping part of him. So if he gets stunned, he gets kind of screwed, I think. Um, but you know, you can easily compensate that by being good. I'm not good. So... <laughs> So I like units having double. I just realized as I go up that um, Valentine's Hildegard had only has stun resistance, but she had a better third skill. She had skill prep 100%. That's kind of what I've also wanted, is that it would have been nice to him just have potent sleep resistance 100% and then them give him a third ability. But that's kind of the problem with a lot of the three stars in the game is that they weren't built that way. They were built to have weird resistances. 
It's a shame, but what can you do? That might also be why they kind of overcompensate by giving them such crazy damage mods now that I think about it. Is that they make them super basic ass units and then here comes this insane power buff from out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, that's the end of today's video. Those are the two mana spirals. I hope that they eventually do Ezalef. And of course, everyone knows that the New Year's um, mana spirals are going to be saved for around New Year's. That's just, you know, it's the way of the game. Uh, makes sense to me, honestly. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good day. I'm going to bed now. You guys have a good, you have a good night, too. Until next time, everyone. Remember to hit that like button. Goodbye.